Okay, so for the 136th time, <sighs> we all say together, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We can't leave this timeline with the Chronicoms about to launch an all-out invasion. Or if we do, we have to take the enemy back with us. I understand, but that decreases the chances of success a fair amount, something like 85%. You haven't been to this isn't so so Will robots. everyone stop yelling? This isn't some abstract or virtual world like the framework. These people suffered, suffered enough. Fist nods understanding and Deke holding a part who has been taken in the quantum bridge machine pipes up. It reduces you, subatomic? Does it create an energy field to do it? Yes, a bubble, for lack of a better word. Bubble is a great word. <laughs> <laughs> bubble means we can make it bigger with enough power, big enough to take all the Chronicon ships. I don't know that the Zephyr can generate enough power to. 1983, New York City can. Fits this calculation in his head, mumbles to himself. At least 10,000 megawatts. One of us would have to stay behind to set it up, trigger it, we'd have to break up the band. I don't know if that matters. Isn't this our last mission together anyway? Fitz stops his calculation, stunned, silent. How could you know that? Enoch told us before he died. It's true. In fact, no matter what the outcome, this is the last moment we'll all be in the same room together, ever. Just lands on the team, look at each other, taking it in, and finally Susan speaks up. I'll stay. They turn to him. I belong here. I've already been given the privilege of a second chance of meeting all you fine people. It's only right. And if the army taught me anything, it's that you can't. I'll go. <laughs> First of all, I have the scientific know-how to repatch the power, whereas Danny Boy here is still impressed by a light bulb. That's not accurate or nice. Secondly, <laughs> you and Daisy obviously have something real brewing, and I... I want Daisy to be happy. Three, as long as you and Nana promise to reconnect and, you know, connect, <laughs> you'll see me again someday. And honestly, I'm, I'm kind of a rock god here. <laughs> and no time to discuss it, my mind's made up. Go now. The team looks at each other and spring into action. Intercutting with both sides now. Mac holds the switch, and on the other end, so does Deke. Both speak into walkies. Ready on this end, Director. Watch over little Alfie, would you? You know I will. I don't... You don't give up on your friends. I know better than anyone. Thank you for everything, Agent Shaw. Mac looks to May in the cockpit. Outside, May flies in space straight at the Chronicom fleet. Get ready. Here we go. One, Wait, on two. three or go? Now go. <laughs> <laughs> On three, damn it, just one, two, three. Zephyr went out of space, click. A massive energy field emanates from Z1, encircling all the ships and zoop, they all disappear. Interior speakeasy, moments later, Deke steps away from the smoking base of the quantum bridge, his friend's gone forever. The other agents slowly emerge from the shadows, look around each other, then a Deke. So, you the new guy in charge now? Deke realizes what they're asking, straightens his posture, turns to them, musters as much confidence as he can. Yes. Off Deke, rock legend, and the director of Alt Shield, <laughs> and the back one. <laughs> Interior lighthouse, control, night. They move into the now abandoned control to find Yo-Yo there waiting. She hits a button, lowers the door behind them. It's a mess in here, bodies everywhere, smoke still in the air, Chronicom text on the screens. Yo-Yo checks on Simmons as Fitz rushes to the computers, plugging in the laptop. Anything I can do to help point the antennas in the right direction? Can you rewire the capacitor connections to bypass the network backbone? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Susan crosses to Yo-Yo with Simmons. We were here. He said it would be the hardest thing we've ever done. We know. They'll bang down the door soon enough. Hopefully not before our friends come through. Don't worry too much about Mac. Don't worry too much about Daisy. They smell each other, knowing it's impossible. Simmons watches them, something clicking. They are everything. Stars in your sky. And suddenly her eyes fill with tears. She looks to Fitz. Fitz, I think I remember why we did all this. I remember what we're fighting for. Off Fitz, nodding to her lovingly, knowing what she means. Interior, Chronicom ship, bridge, outer space. Sybil gestures to the hand input control in the center of the room, anger simmering under her tone. I can give any hunter orders remotely using only my mind. You're next. Once I tear everything but Chronicom hardware out of you. There's no need. The war's over. 
You surrender? We won. Fitz and Simmons are retaking the lighthouse as we speak. Sybil grins menacingly. Oh, a creepy grin. That's new. So that's where they are. She moves to the control, types in her authorization, and inserts her hands. My turn to smile. She turns to him, curious. I just needed you to enter your authorization. Oh? And what comes next? Suddenly a maid drops to the ceiling, knocking Sybil down, landing in the hero pose. The cavalry. Yeah. Yes, goddammit! <laughs> <laughs> Interior, speakeasy, day. What are you gonna do, AC? I was Jesus. just gonna ask. You said you would take the year to reassess. Well, I figure I can always, you know, turn off. So, no rush on that. I'm gonna take a little more time and continue my reassessment, see the world. Everyone smells at this knowing he's sticking around. Good to hear. Right on. You know, after your sabbatical, I could use you. Yeah, me too. There's a bunk waiting for you on Zephyr 3. A really nice one, like season one. <laughs> <laughs> I will keep all of that in mind. As Daisy smells back, she flickers slightly. Yo-Yo turns her head to dial as if listening to something then turns back to the group. Guys, I'll have to go in a minute. We're approaching the drop site. Hey, remember, minimal force. I plan to be in and out, no contact. I have a group waiting. We might as well call it. Yeah, I'm losing signal anyway. We're entering a nebula, so. A beat. No one, wants to... <laughs> no one wants to go. I vote we make this a tradition. Everyone nods or mumbles agreement. We can't lose touch. We went through too much together. It's a miracle we survived. Well, except for Colson and Fitz. And Daisy. And May. I was a zombie once. Not close to. No, really. Was I there for that? Hey, okay, if this is a contest, I died like seven well, times. I don't, even, <laughs> I don't even exist in Deke's timeline. At the mention of the name, everyone thinks fondly of him. Deke. Deke. <laughs> fondly, it says, so just... <laughs> professional actors, it feels like. Oh, I miss that little weirdo. Fitz and Simmons look at each other. We may see him again one day. The, the, the... <laughs> The D. Uh, the D is doing just fine. He's, he's probably playing Madison Square Garden right now. Mac checks his watch, turns to Yo-Yo. All right, well, so I guess this is it. Same time next year. All right, hasta la próxima. Interior, moving vehicle day. She opens the door and whoosh, she's gone. Back in the speakeasy with the group, May turns to Mac. I'll be sending you a few names. Good. And Phil, you should at least swing by on your travels, tell some stories to the newcomers, they'd love that. You might be seeing me. May smiles, reaches up to her temple and exterior campus day. Camera Justice School sign, Colson Academy. Back in the speakeasy, Fitz turns to Simmons. This little monkey's tugging at my leg, we should go. We're having a picnic in the garden, she's been very patient. Bye everybody. Simmons lingers a second, quickly whispering to Daisy. I'll email you that anatomy analysis after Fitz is asleep. Interesting stuff. With a wink, she lifts her head to her temple and exterior garden day. Fitz is already wrestling with Aaliyah, laughing in the grass in front of her. Simmons watches the other two lovingly, happily ever after. In the speakeasy, Daisy, Mac, and Colson remain. Mac turns to Colson. You're at HQ. Well, then you receive the package. Sitting right in front of me, waiting on the code. 136, what's in there? Along with a little going away present. Is it what I think it is? Hey, I'm still a mechanic at heart. Be safe out there, you too. And he stands, reaches to his temple, and we match cut exterior helicarrier day. Max standing outside. He takes it in, then turns to walk inside. As he does, camera pulls back to reveal he's on a helicarrier. In the speakeasy, Daisy and Colson are alone now, a beat. It's not the same without these guys. No. Are you really just seeing the world? There's some places out there I always wanted to go. Okay. But look at what you did here. There are people out there who are lost, people who show promise. If you don't find them, who will? You let me know when you get back? Yes, sir. 
He looks at her proud, then reaches up and disappears. Leaving Daisy alone, she takes in the empty room, lingering, missing everyone the most, as she pulls off the link. Exterior Shield HQ, day. Coulson sits on a bench with a briefcase. Inside is his LMD remote and a pair of car keys. Coulson smiles. Turns to find Lola at the curb. Coulson gets in, puts on his sunglasses, starts the engine, presses the button. Lola rises off the ground and transforms more impressive, more modern, more sleek. Cool. And Coulson flies away. Cool. End of show. I saw in our scripts, there's our, um, our very first call sheet from the pilot. I know when we shot the pilot, we never imagined getting to seven seasons later. And now I can't believe that we're here at the end. Our brilliant writers, our amazing cast and crew, I hope all of you are as proud as we are of the work you've done and everything we've accomplished together. It's really hard to wrap your mind around what we've all done and how many hours we've put in and the relationships we've had and people that feel like they will always be really important parts of my life. Here's to us. You guys have given us just incredible opportunities to grow as actors and to work together and everyone here has participated in that and uh, I will always have that connection with all of you, so thank you. Love you guys. Love you guys. Thank you. I get back to work. <laughs> <laughs>